Yeah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I'm gonna go over seven tips that I learned from the Revolt Conference. And I know this video is a little bit overdue, my bad. Now these tips are hot takes straight from my notes that I took all throughout the conference, but I didn't think to write people's names down because I didn't necessarily plan to do this. Let's go ahead and hop right into number one. A lot of people still have to transfer their thinking from low volume, high margin industry to high volume, low margin industry. Now the person who said that was basically talking about the fact that today we put out a lot more content but we don't make as much versus back in the day where they could drop you know maybe an album a year and man they got a lot of money. I think that's something that's very obvious from somebody who might be at a record label standpoint and even a manager who has multiple artists but from an artist standpoint you have to manage that perspective. For most people yes high volume content wise will be a thing that's a necessity for them but you also have to remember music is not your only form of content you don't have to put out more songs necessarily that just means you have to create visibility in other forms of fashion there's many ways to go into that but that's not what this video is about number two there is no global superstar that has not been developed now those were the words of Kevin Lyles if I remember correctly and what he's referring to there is just the fact that it seems that artist development is highly underrated in today's climate and no matter what though the value speaks for itself when you look at the people who are actually considered to be at the tip top of the game. Now he does mention that, hey, you might have a global record, but a global artist, somebody who's consistently a superstar on a global scale, all of those people went through development. Number three, show brands your impact. Now this one came from the head of global marketing of Beats. I did a video on this in one of my earlier Revolt videos, so I'm not gonna go deep in it, but he was basically referring to the fact that these companies already know how to sell things for the most part, but a lot of them are looking for cultural impact. And if you show that you have an impact on a culture, then they will be more willing to actually invest in you. And when he said show your cultural impact, he meant it quite literally because he was using examples of artists who really did did genuinely love a product and they were wearing or representing a product somehow and then oftentimes they might be tagging a brand and brands noticing that the actual real impact was occurring from that artist doing that. There have been real deals that have happened that started that way. Number four, have a vision. Now that seems like a general thing that a lot of people always say or everybody thinks and talks about them ha having vision, but this person specifically pointed out people like 2 Chains, DJ Khaled, and Travis Scott and talking about knowing them in the past and how where they are right now and what they look like. All these pieces of their brands are truly manifestations of the visions that these guys had for themselves because these guys had visions in detail. They all have three very strong brands because of that. Five. Record labels do not want to build an artist. Now everybody knows this but I'm just reiterating it because employees of Atlantic Records actually said this on the panel and I just figured hey what's better than saying these people actually did say it. This is not some BS that a lot of people are just telling you it's true. You have to package yourself, build your own buzz. You don't have to be a finished product, but you at least got to be some kind of solid prototype. Six, tell your story as it's happening. Now somebody else from Atlanta Records actually did say this as well. We always talk about more content, right? The very first thing I said that I learned or just heard somebody say that I liked was high volume, right? If you are documenting things, then it gives you more content versus always trying to be overly creative and come out with a new song, come out with a new video, etc, etc, etc. And you can look at a case like someone like, let's just say Cardi B, everybody got to see her rise and other people where you get to see their rise, that documentation helps because it creates just touch points and milestones for people to say, hey, this person was really there and they were really there. They were really there. So people enjoy that and it gives you more content. There's multiple benefits for it if it fits in your brand. Last and maybe at least I got to check and see what it is number seven you got to own a vibe and I love that phrase because it's a perfect way to express what having a real brand is about it's not just looking this way but actually communicating a energy a certain feeling that people can associate with who you are if people can feel 
who you are and you're the lead provider of that energy when they want to feel that energy when they are in that kind of mood they will go to you nobody just has one mood for their entire life think of these types of moves energies your brands almost as like a type of food when i'm in the mood for some lemon pepper wings god willing there's only one place that i'm really trying to go to now although that's it for these seven lessons i got from the revolt conference i actually do have another video coming inspired from the revolt conference and i have in my notes that's actually a lot more specific towards artists and managers those relationships be on the lookout for that and those of you who don't want to go back through this video multiple times to actually get the seven steps I got a little article that I'll link at the bottom that will have these mapped out so y'all can just go check it out and then read it from there other than that go ahead and hit that like button if you like it you might as well share it and if you aren't subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button